All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we've got a little bit of a special one for you. It's a little bit delayed, but nonetheless, better late than never. How are you doing, Kara? You all right, my little sweet pea? And uh, yeah, we're going to be checking out the Warframe 1999 demo, and I could not be more excited. Uh, I think this uh, 1999 update looks very interesting. I did think at one point it was a new Warframe game in its, in its entirety, but it turns out it's just going to be a major content drop for the main Warframe game. So we're going to get into this today. Now, I have been told that if we visit our decorations for, on our uh, ship, let's just have a little look here, that we should be able to get some sort of Easter egg and start the mission. So what we're gonna use we're gonna use Arthur's keen page, kind page. Okay. Now this is obviously the item that we got from the Whispers in the Wall mission. So we're gonna place this now. Oh, and as you can see, it's ringing. Interesting. So we're gonna place this down somewhere. We'll pop it on here. And yeah, that should be about it. So as you can see now, the phone, I called it the Razer flip phone, flip phone, <laughs> flip phone, the Razer, the Motorola flip phone, show me age a little bit there, uh, is now ringing. So we're going to actually access this. We talked about this. Amir, we talked about this. Ooh, very interesting. There you go, a little bit of an Easter egg. Can we actually, like, faff with this? Doesn't look like we can. But nevertheless, we're going to go over to the main terminal here, and we're going to log on, and this should give us access to the demo in question let's go let's check this out i'm quite excited warframe 1999 demo take an early trip to the past and get a small taste of the future of warframe by playing a skaldra exterminate mission uh we also are going to get the protocol longsword skin very nice and then we've got arthur so here we go Demo access granted. Now we am headed out. Need you on grid watch. You got it. Oh, and hey, I gave your Tommy a full tune-up. Go ahead and fire her up. So the first thing I'm noticing without oh, moving anywhere is the graphical upgrade is massive um it just looks phenomenal i really have got to say this looks like a completely different game looks absolutely amazing the lighting effects and we're going to get on the atomicycle known as a tommy i think she called it One thing I will have to do is perhaps turn the music off just in case I get copyright strikes. Including civvies. Only way to stop them is to put them down first. So the bike itself, we can steer it with the mouse. We can turn it with W A S and D. Now pressing Okay, that's a little bit strange. So one thing that is a little bit weird uh, and I believe it is a controller decision is when you press the S key the bike doesn't actually break which feels a little bit strange um, but my gosh these graphics so to actually break it's right click space bar does like a cool stunt jump and I must say, this looks absolutely phenomenal. So we can press 2 and launch the bike as well. It's 
straight off the bat, this feels like a completely different game. Although all the elements of Warframe are there. This is something special right here. Really it is. It feels actually fantastic. We're going to keep moving forward here. we got to kill 91 enemies, I believe. And we can summon the cycle at any point by visiting our inventory like so. Which is very nice to see. But as you can see, the shadows and the way they cast on the backdrop. Very high fidelity. Textures are on point. It looks really, really good. Gunplay feels fantastic as well. Gonna test out the melee combat a little bit here. And I do like the way that the music interacts with the combat. And also the fact that we're holding an AK. A bit of a throwback to Call of Duty and whatnot. Back in the 1990s. Target is down. Doing some pretty crazy damage as well. It's good to see. I did get told that the pistol, actually, I don't know if it's a bug, but it can like, crit for like stupid amounts. Try this. So some YouTubers were saying that if you headshot with it, you can do like 26k damage. It'd help if I could hit the head, but I'm just terrible, <laughs> so forget that. So I wonder, can we can, can we bullet jump? Stay clear of Evelon uh, Gas, did that say? Leave it out. Leave it out, mate. So one thing that I am very excited for with this update is that giving the main characters a more human face premise and personality for me is a big big bonus um, I really like the fact that the characters are going to have their own personalities and whatnot. So close to the ground you can't see the big picture Chaos followed Doctor Entrati but within chaos is opportunity We've still got that signature bullet jump Phenomenally smooth combat, as you'd expect from the series. I'm loving these cityscapes, though. I mean, look at the moon and stuff. Like, just the environment, it just feels so good. And a refreshing change from what we have at the moment. The tile set is truly amazing. Let's go. This is my number four ability. Excalibur's based off Arthur. I don't know. I did at one point think Arthur was Excalibur, but I've been told that Excalibur is just based on Arthur. And that it's not actually him. It's some sort of clone or a remake of him of some kind. But in the move up to 1999, I have going to be looking deeper into these characters. But don't ask me why, but I feel that I could get far more invested in these characters as opposed to the current Warframes that we have. Um, I do like the Warframes and I do find their abilities very interesting and whatnot. But for me, putting a face and a personality to a character uh, it, it's far more my type of thing and I could really get on board with it oh dear oh we missed the opportunity for an execute there god knows what that is some sort of harbinger death balloon So it's not quite an open world like the major big open planets that we have currently. And it's not like a level. It's something nice and in between. 
it's sort of like what we have now, but a lot wider open. Like, a, which I prefer really because this is more of a a playground to ex, uh, try out your abilities and and you got a little bit more room to play around with and whatnot. Which I feel, oh yeah, look at that. I do feel that the open environments are far more pleasing for the style of gameplay that Warframe offers. And I think they're going to be a welcome change moving forward. I am a little bit concerned to how the older consoles and the Switch are going to handle this though, like the PS4 and the Switch and stuff, uh, with it being quite a graphical upgrade. Unfortunately, I don't have that hardware to test this out on. Lazy, and you will. I will find you. It will not be pleasure experience. Special effects are on point. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Damn. There's just something very good about them having more personality. And obviously, explaining more of the backstory and the history. Uh, it's kind of like a prequel in a way. Whoa. That was taking a lot of bullets to take down. I really wish I'd have got to play this demo a little bit sooner than I have as well. So I do apologize about the later upload. I know a lot of you have probably already seen this content. But for me, I really had to do it. Let's go. Your job is done. At home before reinforcements show up. It definitely feels like they're using some more advanced lighting models. Um, if they are using the current tech that's in the game, it looks really well done here. They've put a lot of time and effort into this. We're going to call the bike. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go. Kind of reminds me of uh, Batman. Oh, damn. So, unfortunately, that is all the demo has to show us. Wow. That is a little bit of a tease. Thoroughly enjoyed that, though. I just really wish it showed us more. Um, it kind of feels a little bit short. But, God damn, it was short but sweet. Very, very interesting. It's got me really hyped up, actually. We got our protocol longsword skin, which is a welcome gift. We're still farming our potent Feralat pods. And yeah, stay tuned in the next episode where we're going to be farming up and uh, getting some Warframes and whatnot. And if you've not subscribed to the channel already and made it to this part of the video, consider doing so. We're on the push to 2k. But I've got to say, thoroughly thrilled with the Warframe 1999 demo. I really wish there was more, but it's got me hyped with just a little bit of a taster for it. It felt phenomenal. I think it looks great. And uh, the themes and the characters moving forward, I think, are going to be a really welcome addition to the game. And something that I'm really going to gel with and enjoy. So I hope you've enjoyed today's content and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.